AI. These two letters dominate conversations everywhere now. There is a lot we do not know about AI, but what we do know is that staying relevant in the not so distinct future will require one foot in AI. The question is, how do we train ourselves? So far, the big tech firms have been making massive innovations and but only a set group of people who worked on these projects really know what's coming. But if India has to stay on top of its tech game like it always has, for example, in terms of talent, look at all the top tech firms across the world, all the executives, most of them, in fact, come from India. So in order to stay ahead, we have to train India in AI. And on the show today, we have been, in fact, not just today, through a series of conversations that we've done, we've been trying to find answers for a while. Now, what's happened? In a first, the National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, in collaboration with the state education boards in Maharashtra, signed a landmark agreement that could transform how we teach emerging technologies like AI, like robotics and the Internet of Things as well. Jobs are in focus, a concern as well when it comes to India. But the demand for skilled professionals, specifically in the world of AI, is going to be skyrocketing. Yet, there is a huge gap, as we know, between what industries need and what the current education system actually offers. India produces thousands of tech graduates every year, but very, very few, as we know, with each passing year, are actually job ready leave apart being ready for an AI-driven world. So, what is this initiative that has started in Maharashtra? Will it spread across India? And how India plans to bridge this gap, continue to take a lead when it comes to tech? We'll explore some of those questions on the program today. But first, a quick ground check from the techies of the land. Well, uh, there is definitely a degree of excitement with respect to these new age technologies as most young people working in the technology sector have, like myself. So, yeah, I mean, while there is excitement that AI is going to make a lot of procedures more robust and faster, there is also a degree of pensiveness. Modern technologies like Gen AI, IoT, robotics and all the other Industry 4.0 tools, AR, VR, they are really exciting at this point of time and I totally believe that these must be learned by each and everybody right now who is looking forward to the job market given the scenario that's out there. And I totally believe that while AI is definitely having an impact in the job market right now, um, it won't completely eat away human jobs, human intervention will still be required. However, it will be taking the jobs of those who do not know how to use AI. Oh uh, well, uh, India's education system is definitely in a decent space I feel with respect to, you know, better preparing its students for careers in these new age technologies. Uh, but because, I mean, I personally come from a engineering background and I can say that in branches like computer science or electronics, there are AI related courses in the curriculum itself in most colleges. As far as India's education system is concerned, well definitely as of now it's not really at par at what it is supposed to be when it comes to imparting knowledge in topics like AI. Have our understanding where uh, we have a process where every new technology after a few years uh, we have a process to get those things into our college and school education system. So that way, like even if today it is AI, tomorrow something new might come up. But our process should be well defined that we immediately get those things to our students and bring them up to the speed. Uh, now, where would I use AI to solve a problem? Well, I'm going to go personal on this one. I would definitely use it to make my own job easier. <laughs> Largely, it would be directed in the direction of education and skill development and training itself.
All right, so there's the question of skill, there's the question of usage, there's the question of educating India on AI. And to talk to us about all of this, we have a very special guest. Dr. Swati Narang joins us on the program. She's an IT professional and AI expert. She works on software reliability, emerging technologies and upskilling young professionals. Good morning, Dr. Swati. Thanks so much for joining us on this very fascinating future-proof chat that we are having. My, my first question really is about this new uh, sort of, you know, MOU that has been signed and the understanding the government has. I want to understand that, you know, if this were to go through, it would become one of the first uh, colleges, universities in India to have a very future proof course ready. Tell us a little bit more about this program. Actually, these people, the uh, Maharashtra, they are trying to actually teach AI. Right now, we don't have any of the uh, people, any of the universities which are teaching this, uh, anything about AI right now. We have like few of the applications of AI which are being taught there, but not exactly how deep learning is, how AI is built. Nothing about that is still there on the chart. So... Uh, if we really talk about uh, uh, what Maharashtra is doing, that's a great job. Uh, and yes, this has this. We expect other uh, states of uh, the country also doing the same thing. If we start with the basic thing, if we start with the basic uh, uh, teaching of AI, if, with the uh, uh, if we start with the basic thing, in that case, what will happen? The children will get acquainted with AI in from the very beginning. If you see, CBSE also has AI in their curriculum. So what happens when CBSC opens it up, like when this curriculum uh, uh, is being taught to the kids, they are taught AI from the very beginning, like from the uh, grade six onwards. So they are well acquainted with those things. And when they go to college, they are being taught about hardware, they are being taught about how programming is done, but not about AI till now. Now, we, because we are completely into a new generation and we want our children to be completely powered with the universities of the world. So uh, this is the right time when people have to actually, uh, rather the universities mm. have to take this course. And uh, deep learning is one of the courses which is not available much, uh, uh, very well available in our mm. country. So yes, if this will come, then it will be a revolution in Indian education hmm. industry, specifically in the technical uh, terms. Yeah, but you know, the follow up to that is, do we have enough teachers available to take it forward then? Uh, it is a very, very evolving space. Uh, we know that so far a lot of learning on AI, whatever happened, were done through institutes that the tech companies had actually set up. We know that there is sort of a learning center that Google runs. There is another one by Microsoft as well. A lot of it driven by Indians, actually. But none of it is sort of percolated down to the university level. So where are, how will we provide uh, for this gap? If I talk about the uh, research level, yes, neuro, uh, neurosciences are still being uh, on our research level itself. We haven't seen it as a subject or as a uh, like teaching uh, uh, we, we don't have much good faculty available for this because still this itself see we, what we are trying ai is basically creating a replica of human brain so if we talk about uh, in medical sciences still there are some of the parts where the doctors fail to understand why, uh, why human brain behaved in that particular way so if we exactly create a replica of that in a machine, so we need to understand each and everything of those neurosciences and then create. See, I'll tell you something. What happens, AI is basically of two types. One is strong AI and another one is weak AI. So if we talk about the strong AI first, but strong AI is in which we are creating that machine, in which we are creating like God created human beings. Similarly, we are creating a similar human being itself using machines. So the signals which brain gives us, those neuro signals are 
to be created by us only those algorithms have to be written by us only so those algorithms basically are the most difficult ones which are not very well done in any of the university till now yes these things are under research still work is going on on it but if you talk about right now yes there is lot of work has to be done on it and in our country till now there is no such course which is actually teaching us how to create neurosciences how to create a, a robot at like deep learning level mm-hmm. and if we talk about the vki vki basically mm-hmm. is the uh, uh, cortana or chat gpt or alexa because they are actually dedicated ais they are dedicated to one particular task like chat gpt is basically working on only uh the language model if we talk about it's talking about the language it's talking mm. about how to remove the pla- plagiarism it will it will not talk to you it will just give you some images or some mm. data or facts which you want and uh, it will uh, if we call it ai yes why is it called ai because it is understanding through it's learning through your behavior what kind of uh, things you research on and it's learning through it and that is called the machine learning level which is at the lower level like uh, i would say the level in, on which suppose i being a teacher i'm teaching a child in a, a nursery class so i have to show them the picture of an apple and tell them this is an apple similarly the machine is being in the same way if we talk about uh, deep learning in that case we have to teach them how to read that particular algorithm has to be learned we are actually lagging behind in that particular mm-hmm. strong mm-hmm. ai in vki yes the india is doing very well india is making several applications there are so many boards which have india have created even the students in the schools also they are very well versed with the vki they are creating dedicated applications of ai okay. but yes okay it, the basic uh, deep learning is actually missing so if we have to act, uh, bring ai into our education system first yeah. we need to train our teachers for ai we need to train our teachers for deep learning then only we would be able to then we have so, to so from uh, what i'm taking away from your conversation dr swati is is that there is one thing called building ai there is another yes. called sort of learning how to live with ai and within building ai also there is a uh, deep sort of ai and then there is the other stuff and you are saying at all three levels we've got to educate ourselves which makes a lot of sense but uh, you know for somebody watching this right now parents students kids uh, could you name some of the top colleges some courses that one can look at if they want to pursue a career uh, in ai or perhaps stay on top of things see uh, there are several courses which are available but uh, again the same thing this is what i just put it we don't have teachers for deep learning so in our country there are no much courses which are available for deep learning where we can actually create ai if we talk about the dedicated ai yes we have several courses if you see uh, there are several un- uh, institutes and universities which are offering such co- uh, courses but if we talk about the strong Name ai for thing us? uh like uh, for the vkis yes you can uh, go and uh, like even uh, amity university is uh, uh, providing many of the courses big uh, data analysis is there in which there are several courses with uh, and uh, there is uh, there are some incubators which are available in universities like uh, uh, subhat university is also there which is actually giving uh, one course on it and uh, you can find some courses in uh, I- ilm institute also i have read, read about it these are some of the institutes which we can find out yeah but yes if you really talk about uh, the uh, uh, lo- uh, real 
creation of AI. We don't have any courses till now. That is still under research. Yeah, we uh, the researchers of our country they are working very well on it. Yes, we have several uh, papers written on it. We have we our tech people are writing white papers on it. Yes, but still that is not under the course system yet. There, there's no uh, a specific course yeah. which we can do for learning the uh, learning actually hmm. for creating an AI. If uh, even in the whole mm. world if i talk about yeah. right now the situation is that uh, the people uh, mm. think that uh, yes they know ai why because they have they have created one particular application of ai but if we really think how many ais do we have only one i think if you yeah. have heard about sofia mm. that is the only one because one thing it's very costly mm. second thing it needs a lot and lot of uh, mm. work and third thing yes the yeah. uh, understanding yeah. is very less in the later stage if we think when we hmm. would be learning deep learning at that time we would be actually collaborating with the doctors and the medical sure. team and learn about hmm. how the human body works similar hmm. way we would be creating yeah. a so you're saying robot. there is a lot that needs to be done in this space and if i were to sort of yes. uh, you know simplify it for the viewers it would be that there is a building of ai and then there is sort of understanding ai and learning to live with it keeping up with ai as we like to call it on our program and within building there is a deep learning and then there is uh, one which requires you to build apps etc which you're saying is weak learning of sort so a lot needs to be done on this front and we really hope that more and more as we talk more about it more avenues are created for people to actually upskill themselves on this one thank you dr swati for joining us with the very latest